then you may begin. You see me when I'm sitting here? Uh huh. Right there. Oh, now I can't. Now I can't. But I will go there. You're fine. You can I, I've got you both places. You're good to go whenever you're ready. What is the first word which comes to your mind when someone says the word hypocrisy? Maybe some of you would say a liar. Or maybe other people would say a mask or two faced people. And maybe more biblical oriented people would say a Pharisee. Hypocrisy is one of the current things happening in this culture. So we will look to the Bible, what it says about it, to the historical view on other texts, also on examples and what it says to us. So first we will read from the Matthew chapter 23, verse 2 to 3. The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. So in Matthew, before this chapter, Jesus is coming to Jerusalem, and he meets a lot of confrontation from Pharisees and priests who question him and try to trap him and then arrest him, what is never successful, until they got him and crucified him. But in this, in this chapter, Jesus preached his disciples and his people, and his but people, about Pharisees and their hypocrisy. I don't know how much you know about Pharisees, so look, you can look into your handouts, there is no information about them. But Lutheran Study Bible talks about Pharisees being the people who weren't usually employed by church, but they were really popular between people, and therefore they got power. And they believe that uh, the best way to live under the God's flavor is to strictly obey Moses' law and to separate themselves from Gentiles who were known Jews. Now we can put away your hand up. So when Jesus says, the scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so practice and observe whatever they tell you, he says that they teach a good word, they teach God's words. But when he says, but don't do what they do, for they preach but do not practice, he refers to their hypocrisy. Later in our chapter, Jesus talks more about them doing stuff which is uh, not really, um, not really right because they were practically using their, using their popularity for their own goods, and they were doing things just for other people to see. In article, "Church is Full of Hypocrites," Kevin Hack talk about um, talk about person being a hypocrite when person lives in lie and tries to look he, view his outside better than his inside really is. So now when we look into historical view, we can look at other parts of scripture. Because as I told you before, Pharisees were usually employed by church. So that means that Jesus is not really talking just about Pharisees in our text. He is also talking about us. So in Galatians, we can read about Cephas, who was a Jew and he eats with Gentiles. And afterwards, other Jew person comes in, and there he immediately separates himself, and he's just pretending that he never met them before. And Paul sees him, and he tells him, if you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you force the Gentiles to live like a Jews? And also in Isaiah, we can read, and the Lord said, because these people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by man. God doesn't want us to wor worship him if it's not worship with honesty. He wants to see heart. In James we can read, so also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Your faith is not really a faith if you don't live your faith. So now when we look to the other text, we can see that hypocrisy is not really a thing which is just between just be between religion or between people who who are believers. But one of the examples of the believers, we can I read about <coughs> Deacon who was acting like I know everything on the website sermon illustration. And he comes to his classroom and to preach young young people why it's important to live a Christian lifestyle. And he asked them a question. Why do people say that I am a Christian. And after a short pause, one of the boys says, because they don't know you. That's pretty shame, right? But being hypocrite is not just a biblical or religious thing. If Natalie tells me that she's a vegetarian, 
because she can't stand animals to be killed and then eat them. And after two hours, I see her eating a steak. I wouldn't probably view her the same way anymore. So we can see that Jesus says that hypocrisy is not really a thing which is just between religious people. But as Christian, is it really important that we share that we are safe? Jesus wants us to share that we don't have to live a selfish life. He died for all of the people and our responsibility is to share that. Do you think that the deacon was a good example of people who share, of person who shares faith? Jesus says, the scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses', Moses seat, so practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. We as a Christian have to be really careful to not just preach and tell other people what they should or should not do, or tell them what is wrong or what is right. We also have to live our faith and be, a, be an example to them. So I hope by now we are more familiar with the topic of hypocrisy and that we understand it more by, by telling you something, real examples and by reading your scripture, also telling you a historical view and telling you why it's important. So I just want you to, for the end, to think about what I just said and what it says to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you have a round of applause.